Hi guys, welcome to another Learn Tech tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we're going to learn about Android Jetpack Library. We're going to learn about Work Manager, whereby we can be able to schedule deferable and asynchronous tasks that can learn in the background. So in this tutorial, we're going to create an application that sends notification to a user reminding him of an event. We will have a one-off and a periodic request. In one-off, the notification is only sent one, and for periodic, we are going to send at a certain interval set by the user. So let's get started. We're going to add the dependency library for work manager. Just get the retest. I'm using Java, so I'm going to get this one. I'm also using Android X. Sync your Gradle file. So create a class that will, that's going to handle the work. I'm going to call it Event Handler. This class should extend Worker. I'm going to implement the do work method and I'm also going to generate the constructor. So the work that you are going to do is show notification to the user, which will be one of and another one that will be a periodic one. So let's create a work request. Public static void one of request so one of request so one time work request one time work request is equal to one time work request dot builder i'm going to pass the class event hardware dot class dot set initial delay this is the amount of time that is going to wait for it to perform this task so i'm going to give it 10 seconds dot seconds dot we can set constraint constraint is the condition that must be met for the work to be done so i'm going to set constraint then create a constraint here public static constraints set const so i'm going to have constraints constraints is equal to new constraints dot builder dot set required charging maybe you can see that's true dot build so actually don't need to set any constraint for this example so return constraints so in a one-off let me set constraint set constraint set constraint can and then let's build let's pass it to a worker manager so work Monitor dot get instance dot create our one time request. Let's also develop, let's also create a method for a periodic request public static periodic request should be void. So periodic request, periodic request is equal to new, periodic request, builder, I'm going to pass our class. I'm also going to pass the interval, the time that is going to wait for the next work to be done. So I'm going to give it 10, mil, 10 seconds. I'm also going to set initial delay. 
of five seconds time till dot seconds and I'm going to set constraints set constraints then I'm going to build I'm going to pass this on to work manager get instance dot Q or let me add a tag so that when you want to cancel this work you can easily cancel it I'm going to call it periodic so I'm scheduling this work called periodic if there is an existing one replace it in periodic work request so the work that you are going to do is to send notification to the user so let's create a notification so public word share notification you can have a notification compact notification is equal to new notification compact dot builder dot dot builder we are going to pass it application context and the channel id we to pass 14 set icon I'm going to pass our launch icon title content title we want under dot set context text hello Three days the main dot set auto cancel two dot that's enough ten hundred okay in the builder so let's pass it to show this notification so we are going to say notification compact monitor compact manager notification compact monitor dot get activity context the notification dot notify our channel ID, maybe you can put two or three, whatever you want, and then our notification compact dot build. So we might need to perform some action with user tabs on the notification. So intent intent is equal to new intent notification context. We're going to open our main activity dot class and the intent is tabbed. So intent dot set flag intent dot intent dot clear then pass padding intent padding intent is equal to padding intent dot padding sorry padding intent dot get activity I'm going to get application context zero no have you can pass internet then zero so I'm going to pass it here dot same content intent padding intent so the do 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 work method we're going to show so notification so in our main activity, we call our method 
So event handler dot one of request event handler dot periodic request. We are going to start with one of. So let me comment this one. Let's learn our app. Starting. So I give it how many seconds? 10 seconds. So let's see. Here, three days remaining when you tap it, it should open the main activity. Let's see for periodic. I'm going to change this message, just adding some dots to differentiate. And then in our main activity, comment this and then learn this. One. Let's see. Can you move these ones? Okay. There we go. Yeah, this is our periodic. We tap it. New activity. I know main activity. Let's see after how many? The interval was after 10 seconds. Ah, another one. Nice one. So that's all, guys. I will link. I will leave the link where you can get the source code in the description and also the website where you can find the whole tutorial documented. Remember to subscribe and I wish you all the best.